Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this smoky and alluring look. First I'm going to start by priming my eyes. This is essential with this look as we are predominantly using one shade and it will show any creasing. I'm using my usual method, however I'm not powdering because I'm going to be using a cream base. So if you're going to be using cream, make sure you're using a cream over a cream, then powdering before you go in with other powders. So I'm going to use a black base to really darken up the deep black that we will be using later on. This is a really good trick to have it really nice and pigmented and last as long as possible. Once I've got that nice and blended out and smooth, I'm then going to powder with a translucent powder to ensure that there's no excess moisture. Then I'm going to go in with my blending shade. I'm using a really warm brown for this. This is Latte by Makeup Geek on a fluffy brush. I'm really going to pack this in to the crease up towards the brow. We're going to go quite high with this as this is a very dramatic look. Then to ensure that I haven't brought it all the way up to the brow, I'm going to use a vanilla bean shadow, this again from Makeup Geek on a fluffy brush. I'm going to blend that Latte shade out towards the brow. Then I'm going to go in with the black for this. This is a matte black. This is from Makeup Geek again. It's called Corrupt. I'm going to use a very stiff shadow brush to pack this onto the lid. I'm going to pack it to the opacity that I would like and then I'm going to take that fluffy brush again and I'm going to blend the edges. This look is all about packing, blending, packing, blending, which you can see I'm going in again. I think I did it around three or four times before it got to the opacity that I was after. Each time I blended it out with the fluffy brush and added a little bit more of latte to help blend out the edges. Again, just keep going until you get the look that you're after. Then I'm taking a black liner and I'm tight lining my um, upper lash line. Now this is essential because you will see those little pink um, pieces of flesh because it is completely black. Cover them all up with black. We don't need them in our lives. Then I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm going to give them a really nice curl and then I'm going to go in with one coat of mascara. This is a really black mascara. It's going to help keep the curl because I am going to go in with false lashes afterwards. So the false lashes I'm using are the Delight from Socialize. They're not my favorites but um, they work quite well for this look. Then I'm going to go in with a pore filling in primer. This is going to ensure that I have a really nice smooth base to the skin for foundation. So I'm going to go in with a foundation that's great for HD video because that's what I'm filming on. So I'm using my Makeup Forever HD foundation. I'm in, the <laughs> I'm in a very pale shade of 117. I'm going to use a beauty blender to bounce that into the skin before I move on to concealer. I'm using a small brush to apply the concealer where I need it. I'm doing that underneath the eyes, down the bridge of the nose, the forehead and the chin. And then again, I'm going to use the Beauty Blender, which is still a bit damp, to bounce it into the skin. Now using a new technique I saw from Nikki Tutorials, I'm going to ensure that there's no creases under my eye and then use the Beauty Blender to apply translucent powder to ensure there is no creasing. It worked amazingly. Then I'm going to go in with a cream contour. This is Holo from Illamasqua. First time using it and I loved it. It's a really nice warm but still ashy contour. I'm going to bounce it in with the Beauty Blender and then I'm going to set the rest of my face with a really light powder. I'm using a very fluffy powder brush so I don't get too much powder. Then when you do have a really deep smoky eye, it is important that you add warmth into the skin, especially if you're as pale as me. So I'm just using a blush from Illamasqua to do this. This is a Disobey. I'm then going to go in and contour my skin. This is going to give a lot more depth to the face because of that kind of darkness. We've kind of really paled out the rest of the face. So I'm going to contour under the cheekbones and then I also went along my forehead, jawline and a little bit down my nose. Now I am going to be having quite a matte color on my lips so I'm going to apply some purple ointment to make sure they're nice and moisturized. And I'm going to take a liner to my waterline smudging it into the lashes and then using Corrupt again on a flat definer brush I'm going to smudge that along the lower lash line blending it out with a small blending brush and then I'm going to go and back in with Latte to help blend that out even further. You want this to be super smoky. Then I'm going to apply mascara to my lower lashes. After doing this, you might want to go in again with the eyeshadows to ensure that they are as blended out as you like. Moving on to the brows, I'm going for a bit of a darker brow to go with my hair and the look. So I'm just tracing out the outer tail with the darker color, filling that in and then filling in the rest of my brow with the lighter color. Then I'm setting it with Maybelline's Brow Drama in medium brown. This is to make sure that there's still a little bit of tint there, but still looking natural. Then I wanted to put a little bit of color back into my skin. I'm using Desert Rose by NYX on a very fluffy brush because I don't want too much. 
Then I'm going to move on to the lips. So I'm first going to go in with a red lip liner. I am overdrawing the lips slightly. Now this will really only work if you are using a matte lip color. If you're going glossy, it's not going to work too well. Then using Illamasqua's lipstick in box, I'm going to apply this with a lip brush. These apply best with a lip brush as they are a very thick lipstick. There you go. There is our final smoky alluring look. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more. And there will be more to this tutorial at some point. So make sure that you keep um, that in mind and subscribe if you don't want to miss out. Bye. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going through my 2014 beauty favorites. Now, this is a video that I've really been wanting to do.